every day, you bastard. Nurk says, and this is a friend of mine, what, me work? Who decides what we do, how we do it, when we do it, where we do it, how long we do it? Is it your idea? Um, v. F. Skinner wrote Beyond Freedom and Dignity, in which he described people at the end of their life saying, I've worked all my life, now I haven't got much time left to do what I want to do. You, know, you do it for someone else, you're getting them rich. You know? Or you're working for yourself, trying to get rich. But is it really worth it? You know, God says, slack off. You know, let me do the work. There's more than enough food and supplies and build houses and stones and, you know, a moderate amount of work is necessary to survive, but still, you know, it's this regimented, you know, codified for an authoritarian perspective on labor. I, it's, I think it's destroying a lot of people's minds and their consciousness and their souls. Just my opinion. But... It might be worth thinking about. I, um... When I was, I guess I was 17, 18, I was walking down the street with West Valley and I saw this glowing green fire with a red cherry tail. I have no idea what it was. It didn't look like a spacecraft or anything, but okay, that's good. it was moving slowly uh, across the sky and it disappeared. Uh, a couple years later, I was with a bunch of friends. They were doing acid, I wasn't. But we saw through the trees a light falling on us. Who knows, I was pretty high just as a contact high now. Then when I was in Burnaby, I was probably 33, 34. I looked up. I don't know why I looked up. It still eludes me to this day why I bothered to look up, but I did. And uh, one of the things I found was that um, there was a big, found saw was a big triangular black ship making no sounds and just hovering there. And it had running lights, two rows of running lights on the bottom. Now, different colors. Now, I saw it shrink and shrink and shrink. And shrink. Okay. So walk for where? I actually said, well, I said, you know, I want to report this. What the hell is that? My first and, uh, experience with monkey dust. What is that? What is that? What did I feel uh, tonight? I was with a friend, Rainbow Robert. I felt Another friend, Energetic. Uh, Andrew Scott. Bite Andrew Scott is in a band like called Band and does Plastic Bugs and Rainbow, and Rainbow Runs the Jazz. Good rush. And anyway, Last Rainbow says, I have walk. no idea. Two more followers. And, uh, I snorted and I booted a little bit. Scott and I got that Andrew Scott was we just looking around like, what, but what, what, goofy, what, what, what? I felt but goofy. But Rainbow said, that's actually what it is. It I felt silly. I felt goofy. I felt weird. The fourth time I was downtown in Bangor. Oh, I did. A few years ago, there was a lady who was looking for a job. So I was trying to help her. I was sitting on a bench, and I just whimsically said, hey, "Look up, you know, we, uh, like a jolly green giant." We both looked up and saw this glowing cigar shaped thing. Kill somebody? Looked so across the sky. And just, she said, "What was that?" I said, "I don't know. Probably one of uh, George Bush's." <laughs> 
There's an idea, I can't